So Lando, it's been a few days since Sunday in Sochi. Has the heartbreak started to ease? It has. Um, I think I had Monday off to kind of get over it myself, but uh, I already was in McLaren on Tuesday. I spent a lot of time with um, my engineers and our whole group kind of going through everything and uh, put a bit more clarity to our decisions and, and the decisions we made. But you do learn probably more from the, the harder moments. You always learn things. Even if you win a race, you can learn things. But definitely when you have to make these split second decisions, when it's not an easy decision and you need so many different factors involved, when these things arrive, uh, arise in, in the future, in my future years of Formula One, I'll be able to react to it better. So you took your first pole, you led your first Grand Prix, you commanded it. Are you in a place where you can start to take some positives? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think Russia made me suddenly think I'm able to, to win a race. I felt, I felt already capable early on in, in the season, almost for the whole of this year. It's hard to know until you're in that position to, really, to, to get that feeling of what it's like leading a race, the pressure, the decision making. It is always different if you're leading to whether you're second, third or fourth or whatever. I mean, I'm always in the time I think if I done a good job or not or I feel like I know if I've done a good job or not and uh, definitely a lot more throughout this whole season even whether it's FP1 or FP2 but then more importantly the qualifying in the race I feel like I can, I can come out of it and uh, be satisfied with the, the job I've done and now it's not just that I have a good race or a good quality it's I have a good weekend then a lot more of them as well so no I'm I'm happy with the job I'm doing but I know there's still uh, many things for me to work on uh, many more situations which arise which uh, will be new to me, like last weekend in, in Sochi, you know, still a new situation for me, so uh, experiencing these kind of things is only going to be helping me for the future. So we're out in Italy and you've got a kart team named after yourself, how must that feel? It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit surreal because uh, here actually this track is where I grew up in a way, it's where I came to do one of my first European races, um, just brought back a lot of memories and I was a lot, lot smaller back then. Yeah, you know, I was, I was racing a, a different car then of Fernando Alonso. And uh, I guess for, for a young boy or for me then as a kid, looking up to that was pretty cool. And I guess like now I'm in that position where, you know, there's some of the, the kids here who are driving around who get to soon drive my car maybe. And um, it's a cool feeling to have that uh, you're making people smile and you kind of have something that um, you know will hopefully help younger kids grow up and experience racing and, and so on. So. You know, I hope um, we attract uh, the best drivers. Hopefully not good enough that they come and take my seat in, in a few years. But uh, yeah, you know, as a competitive guy, I've not come here just to have a cart on the grid that just goes around. You know, I want it to be winning. I want it to be at the front of the grid. So I feel like we've come with the best people. The OTK, you know, is one of the, the best manufacturers and a great team who are going to be running it. So yeah, it's all big, you know, one big family. And for them, for me to kind of come back and make this all happen with them was, was pretty special. Motor racing is expensive, so I guess how important is it that we've got things like the LN Racing Kart Team to give them the opportunity to A, find out if they want to have a go and B, try and give them the opportunity to become the next Lando Norris? Obviously a lot of boys, and, and more so now, girls as well are getting into racing, so the more we can just help that and, and introduce that, the better. Of course, I think everyone knows or needs to know that motor, motor racing is very expensive. So it's not something that everyone can do, sadly. You know, I, I wish that wasn't the case. I wish anyone was able to come into this kind of sport, like football or tennis, where you can just pick up a football or you can pick up a tennis racket and a ball. Uh, that's so accessible to anyone in the world, but motor racing isn't, sadly. In any way that I can add to that to allow more kids, more boys, more girls to come through, take part in racing if they can, um, and it helped them achieve their goals, then I'd love to be part of that. So, yeah, definitely uh, a cool thing to, to be part of and, and hopefully see over the next few years. And have you got any advice for young guys and girls who watch you on telly and they go, I want to be the next Lando Norris? What do you say to them? First of all, buy an LN car, join my team. <laughs> no, I'm, that's a lie. I don't care like what car. Of course, I'd love them to be on, on mine. But just give it a taste, you know, see, see if they like it, if they don't, and uh, see if they enjoy it. If you really enjoy it and you want to do well, you've got to put in the time and the effort to, to do so. And, uh, and that is tricky, like, especially at such a young age, adding the school side of it, the family, you know, just growing up with your friends and everything. As a kid, you love that side of it. But as well, you've got to like, make sacrifices at times to, if you know your goal is Formula One, to put in the time and effort to, 
to come here testing as many days, you know, as many hours as possible. And you talk about support. Is this kind of one way for you, now you're an F1, to give back to the karting world? Yeah, absolutely. In, in, in any way that I can give back, in any way that I can help people, um, then I'm very happy to. Like, I like doing that anyway. Karting is actually one of the best times in racing because you're, you're growing up and like a lot of my friends I have now are from karting. The people I, I met, met at karting. Karting helps you learn so much, just simply how to go around the track quick. Um, how to, in a more advanced way, use the throttle and brake and maximize that, the steering, the setup of the car you can already start doing. You can look into the data comparing to you and your teammates. So I think subconsciously, there's so many things which you just have, which are so, just ingrained because that's step one. You know, this is step one to becoming a potential Formula One driver or, or a race driver in general. So, so many things you learn here are just part of what I do every single day. I drive a Formula One car. So finally, Lando, what do you want your new karting team to achieve? Uh, to be part of, I want to say the development of, of people's futures, of, of kids who have an ambition to get into Formula One. Um, to be part of that, to um, yeah, allow, allow as many people who are starting karting or even you know, joining karting at whatever age to um, try and help them get to Formula One because I also want them to be the best team, you know, and uh, I want them to have the best drivers and, and so on. So if I can just be part of it, if I can have them just driving my car, that will make me happy.